In this new section here, 3.5, it's called Rational Functions in Their Domain, uh, or in Their Graphs. We're going to find the domain of rational functions, use arrow notation, identify vertical asymptotes, identify horizontal asymptotes. Use transformations to graph rational functions, graph rational functions, identify slant asymptotes, and solve applied problems with rational functions. First thing we're going to do is look at finding domain. This is something that we've done before, and the reason that rational functions uh, fall into the category of needing to find domain is because anytime you have a rational function, uh, you're going to end up with a variable and then a denominator. So we've done this before. So all we're really concerned about are the denominators. Okay? The numerator has no effect because we can have any number and divide into it. But the problem is, is when we try to divide by certain numbers. And we know we can't divide by zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what values can we plug in for x that will make our denominator equal to zero. So when you solve this, you'll get three. So our domain is going to be from negative infinity to three, and then from three to infinity. So again, nothing that we haven't done before. Uh, of course, your degree might limit or might determine how many zeros that you'll find. So if we were to do this, here, as you can see, what we're going to get is we'll get x to be negative 3 or positive 3. So now the domain for this one, negative infinity, comma, negative 3. We basically go from as far left to our first 0, and then first 0 to our second 0, and then second 0 to infinity. And you do the same thing if you have three zeros also. And then lastly on this one, you'll set your denominator equal to 0 and solve. So in this one, uh, since the two numbers that we found uh, that we had plug in for zero to make our denominator equal to zero are imaginary, that's not going to affect the domain because the domain is basically the set of real numbers. So anytime that we get uh, imaginary values, that's not going to limit our domain.